Stick with Cherry Cole. Tubesy boy. How are you? I'm splendid, how are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good, yeah. mate. 716 appearances, 104 goals, yeah. and seven trophies. And you hung your boots up this week. Yeah. Why, mate? Time, time waits for no man, unfortunately. You know, it was getting harder and harder to, uh, to get out of bed and get, you know, the body. The mind wants to do it, but the body was just, it was telling me it was enough. So, uh, yeah, back over here. Enjoyed my time in America. Um, wouldn't change it for the world, but back over here now and start a new chapter. Was it upsetting to make that decision? Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, I think you're always a little bit sad because, you know, it's something, something that you've been doing since you was a kid. Um, and like you said, not many of us are lucky enough to do a job that we absolutely love. You know, all the messages I've been getting since hacking in have been great. I've really been quite, you know, quite emotional, really. People, you know, giving you well done and pats on the back and, you know, wasn't expected. And I didn't know so many people had my number. It was one of them. <laughs> you know, I literally spent the whole day trying, I tried to return every message I could, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I played in like, I played in, three different countries, seven different teams, all them teammates, all them wow, staff yeah. around. So England teams for 10 years. So you, 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 it's great about football, it's just a family. You get to, you, you meet so many different people. But one thing I would say to young players now is exactly what was said to me at that age. It goes in the blink of an eye and, and just make sure you, you cherish it. Every, if you get a minute on the pitch, two minutes on the pitch, you know, get on there and make sure you, you do yourself as a youngster justice. Excellent. And you mentioned the amount of teams you played for and the amount of players you played with. Who's been the best player? All the English boys, are you, <coughs> you Gerrard, Franks, uh, JT's, Rio's, Wazza's, you know, and the foreign players, you Robbins, Hazards. I mean, I don't, I, I could go on forever and mention yeah. them, but you realise that you're playing with absolute geniuses. So you couldn't pick one? If you're going to, if my life depended on it and I was going to pick one, I still think it's Hazard. He's the best yeah. player that I've played with. And I remember I played with him, at, at, I think he was 19 in France, and um, just a, uh, just so talented, just so, I just, you know, you, I look at players and I try and break them down into what, what, what they got, you know, and he just had everything, but also the stuff that is unquantifiable, like his, his heart, you know, what he was about in difficult times in games, how many games, you know, was he there in the big moments, he's just, just a great player. I still think he'll, uh, he'll end up going on to be, to be the Ballon d'Or winner at some point, you know, I think he's, he's that good. Yeah, he's class. Um, loads of goals scored. What's your favourite? Um, my favourite goal, I think, is the, uh, the goal for Chelsea against Man United to win the title. Yes. Because, like again, it was a, it was a great goal. Like technically, it, it was it was really good. You know, it, was, it easy, summed mate. things up. But I think the whole thing, like being the day the goal that secured the title, and, and the, the actual date was on. The weather was great. Um, and all my family were there that day. I'm lucky enough that probably Chelsea fans will remember me for that. Have you ever spoke to Rio about it? He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, we spoke about it the other day. Listen, Rio, like, unbelievable player, like, you know, he's my pal and everything, and man, he, he got the better of me on many, many occasions, believe me. He's <laughs> so hard to go past, and just on that day, I managed to, to wriggle past him, but... Um, you didn't wriggle past him, did you? You absolutely pulled his pants down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know... I will say, like I said, he's got a bet with me on so many occasions. Yeah. yeah. Coming up through the ranks, Joe, um, you were sort of labelled like the showboat king with the tricks and flicks. Yeah. Is that something you've worked at, or is that something you've just no, been natural to just, just, just how I, just how I played football. Um, you can only be what you are on the pitch. I was a street footballer. Yeah. You know, that, that was it. I was a street footballer. I didn't play for a team until I was about nearly 11. Ain't any team. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like little, uh, little, maybe little five sides over on the tarmac. Me, it was just free for all, get the ball, you know, prison rules in the playground, yeah, yeah. and then I went into a game. And when, you know, what position do you play? I saw just middle of the park, really. I just, wherever the ball is. And, and I was still learning whilst playing in the first team. But, um, you know, so it was a, it's, I just had a different, I'd had a different journey to, to what the, the norm was. What's next for Joe Carl? Um, it'll be staying in football in some capacity. Yeah. Um, I love coaching, I do love coaching. Coaching or managing? Again, like, I don't want to commit myself to one camp either or there. I just want to spend some time learning all aspects of the game. I don't know. I coached for six months out in Tampa and I loved it. I was yeah. assistant manager. You know, just being part of the whole, the whole uh, organising, you know, the scouting, the recruiting, everything, dealing with players. 
you know, I loved it. It was such a challenge, you know, and uh, yeah, so it'll be it'll be in 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 the game. I spoke to you before. You said I just have to play football. I just love playing football. Yeah. Will you join like a Sunday league team or? Uh, I've I've already played. Yeah, I played with my brother over on Monday nights in the Vets League. Uh, I played. Uh, <laughs> the people did you just turn up and people go? Yeah, it was a top of the table clash. And I've, yeah, it was a top of the table clash, and I've turned up, and uh, the other team were like, "Oh, this, this, this they got a ringer here." Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> he looks like Joe Cole. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is Joe Cole. Yeah, so it was good. Like the, you know what? The, the fellas we played against were great. You know, because and uh, you know it was just good. Just enjoyed it. It's nice. May well. Thanks for entertaining us all Cheers. over the years, great last to see three you. years, and best of luck for what you do in the future, pal. Cheers, buddy. Super Joey Cole. What ah. a legend. Thanks.